In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a slip knot. There are quite a few different ways of doing a slip knot, but I'm going to show you two different techniques, um, and both of them include using your hook to make the slip knot. Now, you're going to start with your yarn and have the very end available. So what you want is you want it to be three to five inches is usually what I aim for to have on the very end. You want to have at least three inches because if you don't have at least three inches, you'll probably lose that yarn while you're trying to make the loop. Um, tons of times I have done this. So what you want to do to start is put the three to five inches of yarn on the end in between your point, your ring finger and your thumb and hold it tight. Now the rest of the yarn leads to the skein. What you want to do is you want to take and wrap around your pointer and middle finger. I like to make my pointer and middle finger into a V so it's very easy to use my hook to slip it through. Now you'll take that yarn and wrap it around and then turn your fingers so that you see the back of your hand. And as you can see you have this nice tight ring around your pointer and your middle finger. Now you're going to do that again, but this time what you want to do is you want to take that yarn and you want to cross it over, sorry about that, you want to cross it over so that it makes an X. Then you'll grab with the point, with the thumb and the ring finger so that you have this nice little X and that top is right there. You can see it very clearly that it is over that back yarn. Now comes the time we use our hook. And you want to take that hook, put it right under that X, and you're going to grab the yarn that is crossed over and is above the bottom yarn. You're going to pull it through so that you have this nice loop on your hook. Now what you're going to have to do is relax those two fingers and make it so that you can slip it off very gently so that it doesn't do what just happened there. Now I wasn't gentle with it, so it didn't work. You just had that weird loop there. Now this will happen. So this is why you want to make sure that you are being very um, deliberate with everything. So don't feel bad if you mess up the first time. I think it took me quite a while to figure out a slip stitch. Um, but we'll just try it again. Remember you take the string, put it between your thumb and your ring finger, wrap it around your pointer and your middle so that it makes that tight line. Then you take it again, you wrap it around so you form an X and you hold it again with your thumb and your ring finger. Now you take your hook, you go underneath, grab that top yarn and pull it through so you have that nice loop, a tight loop right there. Now you relax both your hook hand and your yarn hand and you let it go and you pull through and as you can see you have that very nice knot right there. Now if you want it tighter you pull on the side that leads to the skein. If you want it looser you pull on the side that leads to nowhere to the end. And the reason you want to pull it tight is that if it's too loose it'll come right off but if it's but you don't want it too tight because if you have it too tight then you're not going to be able to move it and then therefore you're not going to be able to pull any yarn through that um, that uh, slip knot and that's the point of crocheting you have to pull loops through so if you see it and you think I don't like that at all all you have to do is grab from each end the side that leads to the end and the side that leads to the skein and you pull until, ta-da, it's gone. Now that is one way, and we are going to try another way now. And this way we start with a hook. You take your hook and you hold it firmly. Um, I like to hold it between my thumb and my pointer finger and then wrap my um, last three fingers around the hook. Now if you want to do it another way, um, the other way is to take your pointer and your thumb and hold it like that and then just kind of gently hold your fingers on the um, hook. You're, that way you're not, you're not tightening over it and it kind of gives you more of a fluid motion. Um, this way is also, I've noticed, easier on my wrist, but it takes a little bit more practice because it is not as sturdy as actually holding it tight. 
So I like to hold it tight. That's how I do it. And um, it just means that I have to do exercises to keep my wrists and my hands um, less tight. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll start with that loop on your hook. What you wanna do is you wanna take the end of your yarn and wrap it around the hook just like that so that it's right in front. Now you're going to grab the, or you want to see that this um, yarn in the back leads to the skein. Now you take the yarn that's in front, the very end, and you want to go over the yarn in the back and grab on with your fingers in the back. Now what I like to do is I like to loop it through my fingers at this point. I put it over my ring finger, under my middle finger, and over again my pointer finger. Now what you'll want to do at this point is take your middle finger and your thumb and grab where those two strands of yarn meet. Now what you'll do is you'll take your hook and you go down, move under, and pull a loop right through. I can show you how to do that one more time. So as you see, the top strand is over the bottom and you hold right there with your thumb and your ring finger, or your thumb and your middle finger, or your ring finger, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you take the hook, you go down, under the yarn, and then you pull that yarn right through the loop. Then you let go, pull with the bottom, and there you have it. There's your slip knot on the hook, ready to go. So all you have to do is start that foundation chain. Now to learn how to do a foundation chain, you can click on the next video and happy crocheting.